organized crime like illegal marijuana operations are moving from outside the United States into rural towns like Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Yeah, in November, four people were killed execution style at a marijuana farm there. It was a shocking scene for authorities of the Kingfisher Sheriff's Office. Uh, court documents saying the killings were an act of revenge for money owed to an investor. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee now joins us uh, to share more on this case. Amanda. This farm was more than uh, one of more than 8,000 in the state licensed to grow marijuana for medical use, but it was diverting its product to the black market instead. Jonathan Reedlinger with the Kingfisher County Sheriff's Office was one of the first to arrive on the property. With the much money that's coming in here, with as much marijuana is, is here or leaving, I just figured it was just a matter of time before something was going to happen. Just outside Oklahoma City, NBC News found the legal owner of the weed farm where the four killings took place. NBC reporter Jacob Soberoff got a chance to speak with that owner, Yi Fi Lin, who was also a victim in the shooting but survived. I was in the hospital for two weeks, he told us. I'm in a lot of pain and can barely walk. After that interview, he was arrested and charged with manufacturing and trafficking marijuana and now awaits trial. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you what an official says is the reason as to why these criminals are coming to Oklahoma to do their business. Amanda Sleep, News Oklahoma.